Mom, you should come and see this. What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today is October the 21st, and this is the news that you need to know for Fallout 76. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about it, y'all. And now, at the time of uploading this, there's only a few hours left in the Gold Rush and the Double Mutations weekend. That is going to be ending at 12 p.m. Eastern. So if you are needing some more gold and you have some left over, make sure to go turn in those treasury notes because during a Gold Rush, you can get 800 gold bullion per day instead of 400. And now this is going to be a busy week for Fallout fans. You see, starting this week on October the 22nd at 12 p.m. Eastern, the Spooky Scorched and the Trick or Treat event is going to be taking place out there in the wasteland. Now, this is going to be going on until November the 5th at 12 p.m. Eastern. It's a great time whether you are just getting out of the vault or you have been outside of the vault for quite some time. It's a great time to get some legendaries, hunt some Spooky Scorched, and get some plans for you and your fellow vault dwellers. And now it looks like from October the 23rd until November, November the 20th, we are going to have Twitch drops available for Fallout 76, which is absolutely amazing, y'all. And if you're wondering on how to link your Bethesda and your Twitch account together, just go to Bethesda's website, go to your linked accounts, as you can see right here, click on the Twitch link, and then link up those two accounts. It's absolutely so easy. Now, as it stands right now, we don't know who is going to be available to have these Twitch drops available for users to watch their Fallout 76 content and earn these drops. But if it's like any other Twitch drop for Fallout 76, everyone who is streaming Fallout 76 has been qualified for it. And if you'd like to earn some of these drops as they go, if we are available for it, we do have our Twitch TV link down in the description below. And thankfully to everybody, as we live stream on YouTube, the community absolutely had no problem with us live streaming on Twitch at the same time so i look forward to seeing y'all out there in the wasteland on twitch and it looks like we've got a double xp event starting october the 23rd at 12 p.m eastern and running until october the 27th at 12 p.m eastern this is absolutely amazing bethesda snuck this in and i'm so happy that vault dweller is going to have this extra chance to get that 100 rank on the school board or just get some extra levels out there in the wasteland and now, not to sound like a Billy Mays commercial or the ending to a Looney Tunes episode, but that's not all, folks. Fallout Day is starting October the 23rd, and this is a huge day for Fallout fans. And now, we don't know exactly what Bethesda has planned, whether there's going to be a free Fallout first trial, there's going to be a sale on Atoms, whether, you know, Fallout Shelter is going to have something. We don't know any of that. But we do know that they are going to be having a live stream and we'll have a link to their socials down in the description below starting at 3 p.m. Eastern. And this is going to be a great time. And following up on that, Fallout for Hope is having a parade and a celebration. And I'm so excited for everyone to see what they have planned with that. We know more about that than what's going on with Bethesda and their plans. And let me just tell y'all, the community is out and about in this parade and celebration and you don't want to miss it. And now this weekend, we just celebrated New Vegas turning 14 years old. And I don't want to make you feel old and make you think back to that time of New Vegas coming out and you rushing home to play it. But whether you enjoyed that game or not, I absolutely loved my time in New Vegas. Now, Fallout 3 was the first game that I fell in love with. And let me know in the comment section below, what was the first Fallout game that you played that you absolutely fell in love with? I know so many out there love New Vegas. And look, I loved every second that I played that I definitely need to get back in and play another playthrough of Fallout 3 and New Vegas. And now we will be making a video going over the Spooky Scorched and the Trick or Treat event, but if you'd like to get a heads up on where we get a lot of our information, Duchess Flame and Nuka Knights will be in the description below as well as Fallout Builds. You see, Fallout Builds has a picture and it is of the map, and this is what we used to use when we first started playing Fallout 76, but we have since moved to using Nuka Knights because Nuka Knights has this map with with the locations and the events at those locations that have the potentiality to spawn Spooky Scorched and Duchess Flames is absolutely amazing. She has so many great articles on Fallout 76 and she also runs buffs and brews and this is a great place for you to get your food out there in the wasteland and you should definitely check out these wonderful vault dwellers. But maybe you want to know more about the event right now. Well, friends, check out DTD Gamers video where they go over information talking about the Spooky Scorched and the Trick or Treat event coming to Fallout 76. 
And now later in 2024, we're going to have a new raid feature coming to Fallout 76, and Angry Turtle is going over the new rewards from that new raid feature. And now Pineapple's going over a weapon that I absolutely love to use, and that is the Assault Rifle, and how it is extremely underrated, and how it is so much fun to use. Make sure to check out this video, and who knows, maybe you'll want to start picking up an Assault Rifle and try it out for yourself. And now if you've been wondering how much of a difference the four-star legendaries are going to make on your day-to-day -day journey out there in the wasteland, make sure to check out this video from Wiggle Plays. Now, if you're a herbivore and you're looking for some great recipes, make sure to check out this video from Gamer Aviator going over the ultimate recipe guide for lazy herbivores. And now, did you know there's a quest in Fallout 76 that will give you a very unique reward for your power armor? If you did not know about this, make sure to check out Golden Gex's video in the description below. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out. And if you hadn't seen the video where we go over the top five camps for Fallout 76 this week, check it out right here. Thank you so much to the channel members and y'all have a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Peace. Love ya.